<laughs> but the, the essence of what I'm trying to say is that because I've heard people say tax on tax and all kind of arguments, which for me is not like that. Because yes, income taxes are taxed, but for every services you engage in with the money you have, you still pay tax. If you enter a supermarket to buy this water <laughs> with cash, you, with still, cash, pay you still pay tax. There's they will VAT give you a VAT if you enter a restaurant, whether the money is so clearly uh, for me. But one legitimate um, concern I've heard throughout all this engagement is the issue of capping. Mm -hmm. And uh, for now, no decision has been made, so I cannot speak to it. Okay. But I, I think it's a legitimate uh, concern that yes. has been I raised. I got that quite a bit on Twitter. Yes, yes. And so maybe going forward, uh, when we meet uh, at governmental level when so you decisions are made, oh, yes. <laughs> uh, when you make legitimate concerns, we pick it on board. In fact, we didn't start e levy in the scope and form that it is today. Lots of suggestions have been modified to suit the public expectation. Is it a permanent tax? Uh, I should think so because the world is changing from agra agrarian economy to industrial economy to information age. And today we are told it's a digital age. And if the economy is shifting, from the normal things we know into a digital world, I don't see why government should not go into digital tax as a permanent way of raising revenue for this country. So that, I can say, will be permanent because of how the world is moving. We have moved on. Um, of course, uh, I've heard somebody say when we're in opposition, we complain about taxes. Mm -hmm. It's true. And when we came, we took steps. To I mean, why will you charge Kayaye tax? condom tax, cutlass tax, those things. My friend here even agrees that they were nuisance taxes. But that is not to say you cannot take productive taxes to build the economy. And we believe that what we are introducing will help build the economy better.